This was the day NATO crossed the Rubicon. The force has trained to mission, is well equipped, and is superbly led. I have every confidence in their ability to execute the mission. The enabling forces are in place. The main forces are ready. Therefore, my recommendation to the North Atlantic Council was simply, let's go. Preparations for 60,000 troops began immediately after the Dayton Accord was forged. Now cosmetic touches are being added, like a NATO green coat of paint for white United Nations vehicles. But no number of troops can persuade locals it's safe to live with former enemies. Supervo goes to the Bosnian Serbs under the agreement, and its Muslims want to be evacuated before the Serbs move in. It's the same story in many parts of the newly carved up Bosnia, and accommodating a burgeoning number of refugees in areas where they feel secure may become the country's running sore. This is not an emergency situation. This is not a tactical situation. If it were tactical and we had the requirement to get people on the ground, we would do so. But we're not going to sacrifice troop safety uh, to meet the mission requirements at this point. Weather permitting, the first American combat troops, paratroopers based in Italy, will arrive in Tuzla on Sunday.